You'll hear from a lot of relationship gurus that the best strategy to attract women is simply being yourself. Isn't that cute? To some extent, it's right, but in no way is it the Bible knowledge of getting women to fall for you. For that, you need to do more than that. You need to adopt certain traits if you don't naturally possess them. These traits elevate a man to his highest potential and make him a chick magnet, provided he truly lives by them and isn't just putting on a temporary act. Let me know down in the comments how many of these traits you already possess and how many you plan on working on. With that said, let's get right into it. 1. Be water, my friends. That's how the great Bruce Lee put it, and I don't think it can be said any better. Be ready to transform, adapt, and evolve. Let me make this crystal clear. The world is in constant motion. Everything changes. Everything evolves. If you're glued to your old ways, stubbornly resisting growth, then you're stuck. And trust me, she'll notice. She'll see you standing still while the world marches forward. And that, my brothers, is the fastest route to losing her respect. Now, I'm not suggesting you completely overhaul yourself from scratch. I'm talking about the power to adapt, to learn from your missteps, to face new challenges, and consistently strive for a superior version of yourself. 2. Never underestimate what being humble can do for you. Pay close attention. Humbleness isn't about diminishing your self-worth, it's acknowledging your value while understanding that you're not the universe's focal point. Nobody, especially women, appreciates a bragger. If you're always strutting around, trying to be the big shot, believe me, they'll see right through it in a heartbeat. And let me tell you, it's not a good look. At all. Humbleness, on the other hand. Now that's attractive. It signals that you're at ease with who you are. You don't feel the need to prove yourself to anyone. That kind of silent confidence acts like a magnet for respect. You'll be swimming in admiration, mark my words. So, the next time you're in her company, tone your pride down. 3. Don't be an emotional wreck. The truth is, we all experience emotions. There's no turning them off. But where men stand out from boys, it's all about how you handle those situations that wreak havoc on your emotions. Picture this scenario. You're out with her, and some guy is purposefully driving like a jerk to trigger you. This is what happened to me the other day. Think about it. How would you respond? Would you be quick to flare up, blast the horn, and start tailgating him? Well, let me tell you. That's what a man-child does. He allows others to get into his head and control his actions. Isn't that just pathetic? But that's what most men are like nowadays. If you want to earn real respect, act like a man, stay calm, keep your cool, and show her you're unshakable. 4. Be a stern man of your word. All right, pay attention because this one's make or break. It's all about being a man of your word. Let me tell it straight. If you can't be trusted to keep your promises, why should she, or anyone for that matter, respect you? Life is going to throw curveballs, plans will shift, and unexpected things will pop up. But if you're the guy who's constantly bailing, forever dishing out excuses, and breaking promises left and right, buddy, it's not a good look. Not at all. Think about the message you're sending every time you break your word. You're saying, hey, don't rely on me. Now if she can't trust you with the small things, how on earth is she going to trust you with the big stuff? How can she respect you when you can't even respect your own commitments? Here's the deal. If a girl you're into, or anyone, holds you to a promise, you better deliver. Slip up once, they might let it slide, do it twice, and they could still shake it off. Now pull the same stunt thrice, my brother, and they're out the door. 5. Don't be needy and insecure. Listen up, buddy. Clinginess, it's a universal no-go, not just a girl thing. If you're that guy bombarding her with texts, sticking to her like glue, you need to pump the brakes and do it fast. Being independent and steering clear of clinginess? They're a dynamic duo. If you nail being truly independent, the next part becomes a breeze. But again, men are wired in a weird way. Your emotions might unintentionally run wild. You're into her, so you want to be around all the time. That's a natural feeling. But there's a fine line between showing interest and suffocating her. That's how you make her hate your presence. A secretive game is to monitor your availability levels. 
Never forget that availability and demand share an inverse relationship. The lesser of you she gets, the more of you she needs. No, you shouldn't disappear from her life, that's not what I mean. She needs just enough to get hooked on, but not enough to get tired or even take you for granted. There should constantly be a looming threat of you upping and leaving. Don't cheat on her or nothing and don't be toxic. Just make it clear, it doesn't make much of a difference whether she's with you or not. In reality, women actually enjoy those kinds of relationships too. 6. Don't be an overthinker and simply enjoy the ride. You might think ladies dig guys who are always busy and stressed, hustling hard, and obsessing over every little thing in their lives. Well, here's the real deal. That's not what turns them on. Stress? Not attractive at all. What they're actually into is a guy who's chill. You know, more laid back. That's why you'll see women normally choosing men who've already made it in life. They aren't stressed. Every day is like a vacation for them. Imagine if you have that same mentality during your grind years. You'd be getting chicks, both before and after making it. But hold on, being laid back doesn't mean you're lazy or irresponsible. I'm not saying that. Being laid back means not letting the small stuff ruin your day, like traffic jams or a missed bus, maybe even a rude remark. Don't tolerate disrespect ever, but be smart enough to know which battles are worth taking up. Why do ladies like this? You may be wondering. It's simple. It shows you're mentally and emotionally strong and are capable of tackling challenges. I could get into more, but let's save that for another day. Thank you for tuning in and catch you in the next one. Peace, my brothers.